Here's how you want to take advantage of your flush cutters as a sparky. If you're in the trade, I assume you own a pair. And yeah, the bulk of your use with this thing will be cutting off the tail ends off cable ties. And diagonal flush cut pliers are perfect for cutting that clean and smooth finish. And depending on the manufacturer, they're also great for cutting thin steel such as cat wire. G'day everyone, I'm Corey, a qualified Sparky from Australia. On me today are the Marvel M8600 diagonal cutting pliers, or we just call them flush cuts for short. Many different brands manufacture these and they're practically all the same. I have used ones in the past that are spring loaded and are really good for preventing hand fatigue. In terms of the design and build, it's pretty straightforward. On the Marvels in particular, you've got your dipped vinyl handle grips, you've got your fulcrum or pivot point, your flush cutting nippers or blades, and the metal used to construct these plies are drop forged chrome vanadium steel. And this type of steel is bloody tough, meaning if you want to cut into other strong materials such as other steel, it's not going to ruin your pliers. Well, at least the Marvels anyway. In terms of weight they come in at 118 grams so these are extremely light and their length is 150 mil so perfect for fitting into your pocket or your tool pouch in terms of cutting capacity they can cut up to 2.5 mil copper tps as previously mentioned electricians usually use flush cutters for cable ties a shitty cut will leave sharp edges and worst potentially damaging new cables being roughed in. For example, new cables being installed over existing cable tray. It's a simple fix though. When you're securing cables with cable ties, you just slightly pull on the tail end as you cut close to the head, snip, and you'll notice the tail will slightly retract back, giving you that smooth finish. And as an extra tip, if you only have your combis or linesman pliers on you, you can use the head of the jaw to twist the cable tie end in one quick motion to get that nice end. And really you want a clean cut because it looks aesthetically pleasing and it helps out the next trade after you. And yeah, you can use this for when you're cutting or stripping copper cables up to 2.5 mil, but I don't really see a point in that and I don't really use it for that. And lastly, I keep these things in my tool pouch all the time because they are such a heavily used tool. Anyway, if you have any other uses for flush cutters, let me know down in the comments. You can check out some of my other videos here, whatever the YouTube algorithm suggests to you. Please chuck a like. I haven't been asking people to do that, but I think that's also good for the YouTube algorithm. I don't know, yeah, chuck it a like. Subscribe as well if you, if you want to. And cheers for watching.